The car industry may think itself as global, but there are huge differences between vehicles designed for North America and for Europe. A lot of those differences stem from the vast difference in price and availability of fuel. No matter how often North Americans go on about how environmentally friendly they are, the fact is that the average North American punter is not going to be happy tootling about in a little one-liter Fiat Panda. The only Panda we can easily see is how the big automotive companies panda to the punter's tastes in the States and continue to produce gas-guzzling brutes. But even though it seems that General Motors in Detroit doesn't give a monkeys about saving gas, General Motors in Europe seem to be obsessed with being very frugal with their precious fuel. Let's pay a quick visit to Opel in Rüsselheim, Germany, where they're very proud of their Eco Speedster. First up, this runs on diesel, not petrol. This spectacular prototype marks the start of the biggest diesel campaign in Opel's history, as they set out to prove that you could get a very sporty performance machine from the tiniest amount of fuel. During initial testing, the 112 brake horsepower concept car reached a maximum speed of over 255 kilometers an hour. That's 155 miles per hour, while fuel consumption was a miserly 2.5 liters per 100 kilometers. That is incredible. The two-seat prototype is based on the mid-engine Speedster Roadster, but features new carbon fiber bodywork with much improved aerodynamics. With significantly reduced drag and even lower weight, the Eco Speedster takes up where another Opel prototype left off 30 years ago. On June the 1st, 1972, at the company's Dudenhofen Proving Ground, a modified Opel GT with a 95 horsepower, 2.1 litre turbocharged diesel engine made the headlines by setting several world records for diesel passenger cars and reached a top speed of 197.5 kilometres an hour. The new Eco Speedster is proof of the progress made in the last 30 years and of the diesel engine's amazing passenger car career. When the record-breaking GT made its sensational appearance, it was the first time that sports car performance had been associated with the diesel engine. This latest concept from General Motors' Opel branch shows how a new generation is being shown how being frugal with fuel doesn't necessarily mean that you can't have fun.